Uh, well, firstly, there's a lot of rumors about like Waterloo being the best engineering school, and you know, did some research into it. But what I found was the most appealing to me was their uh, co-op program. So we work four months, and we go to school four months, and then you alternate. So that's good for me because you also get a break between classes. But the best part is you get to get some real networking and work in the field, and that's an experience that other universities don't really provide you. So University of Waterloo is. You know, the best choice for me. Um, to be determined, I'm still trying different industries. I mean, I've tried the uh, power industry, I'm gonna try automotive next, and just kind of shaping myself, not sure, but um, the skills I'm learning in uh, engineering are basically problem solving, and that's universal. So I don't think it's like a waste of time or anything. Definitely, some, probably something in the engineering field, uh, maybe automotive, but still figuring it out. Just the standard, you know, American dream, whatever, right? So just like, um, good stable job you want to be financially secure and then you know wife kids dog all that kind of stuff I'm not looking you know to like change the world in terms of like designing one new product or anything just like you know doing my part as professional you know as engineer and doing it responsibly and ethically as an engineer kind of because I've come from a family of engineers so you know as a kid I was like you know kind of forced down that path even though luckily it's something I like doing because I was into math and science and was good at it and it's kind of Lego, all uh, good problem solving. So I had all like the basic science as a child, you know, be something interested in. It is, and you know, just the family aspect of it. Just typically, culturally, our families, you know, engineers. Uh, my name is Chris Roy, and like Ardisher, I'm in third year mechanical engineering at Waterloo. Definitely the co-op program, getting that exposure to different industries. Uh, and What's been your favorite? Uh, right now, uh, I'd say manufacturing but I want to get some more exposure to it, see if it's really for me, see if it's what I'm passionate about. Uh, I got to have a co-op term at Cadbury uh, here in Toronto, so working with the caramel line, seeing how different chocolates were made, just the food manufacturing industry. Uh, not yet, uh, that's the next step, so right now we're both going into interviews for Toyota, so that's the dream for this semester. What's the big dream? Big dream? Not sure. Uh, something I love, hopefully. The plan is just to get exposure to as much things as possible and get a feel for what I like and what I don't like. So it lets you get your hands dirty. You get that co-op experience, you get the opportunity to try different industries and get that, get that background experience so that when you go into the industry and actually get that full-time career, you have that experience. You'll be one step above everyone else. Take a look at this kind of stuff. All this stuff has to do with engineering. Uh, the materials involved, how it's manufactured, uh, how strong all the materials need to be. All of that has engineering background in it, so getting that experience and knowing just the whole big picture and being involved with it, all that knowledge.